Welcome back to the channel. So today we are in the mountains on trail 5S09 which connects to B Canyon down somewhere that way. Anyways, um, today I want to talk to you about why I would recommend skipping out on buying a budget boost for your Jeep Grand Cherokee WJ. Okay, let's get into the video. Some snow today. It snowed a couple weeks ago and there's some spots that still have snow. But most of it has, you know, melted away. And what's crazy is that it's going to be 80 degrees in a couple days. Oh, crazy. I'm literally going in the middle of the mountain, scratching my Jeep up, just to get you guys this awesome video with an awesome backdrop, <laughs> instead of doing it in my house. So, yeah, let's go see what we can get to. I'm trying to get up that mountain right there. Here, this, this right here is the fun of off-roading. You hear that? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I, I swear I don't like the scratches on my Jeep, but it's part of it, so it is what it is. I don't know what that was, but let's keep going. Alright guys, so I think we made it to a good enough spot. Um, there's a couple sketchy spots. I'm pretty sure I got it on camera, but the reason I came up here is to talk to you guys about why maybe you shouldn't buy a budget boost. Now, yes, I do run a budget boost on this one. I have a, it's kind of hard to see, but a two and a half inch budget boost lift on here. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend getting one. I did make a previous video on why you should get budget boost, but I don't, I honestly don't think it's worth putting in the time adding the budget boost. So the budget boost is about $250 give or take and an actual spring lift kit is about $400 so $150 more. They both come with shocks. The reason I would go with new springs is because your Jeep is probably like 17 years old. The springs are probably still stock and they're sagging which is common with uh, you know, a lot of these older cars, their maintenance is not kept up. So the springs are sagging and you're just, and you're adding that two inch lift puck and it's only gonna give you about an inch, inch and a half lift. So that's not really worth it. You're better off saving for, you know, an extra month and picking up the actual springs instead of having to do it twice. Because I guarantee once you buy a budget boost, you're gonna wanna get bigger springs. Almost everyone who's had a budget boost has gone up four inches or six and a half. You are not gonna stick with the budget boost. Don't even waste your time or money on them. Just go straight up buy a spring lift kit. You're just gonna get more out of a spring lift than you will a budget boost. And also, when you replace the springs or if you decide for some reason to go with the budget boost, make sure you get new coil spring isolators because those things, they wear out and I'm pretty sure you need them. And the coil springs, uh, isolators, they're the ones that go on the coil springs so it doesn't rattle or make noise. And talking about the coil springs isolators for the Jeep, I had purchased all brand new ones and I had lost them. I don't know, I can't find them so I had to reorder them. So the lift kit is on hold because of that. Just waiting for a couple things to come in but we should get that started real soon. I'm super excited for this thing and I'm sure you guys are excited to see it as well. So yeah, again, just to recap, like I said, uh, I would not recommend going with the budget boost lift kit because uh, you're not gonna get the full two inch or three inch, whatever they offer out of it. Your springs are probably sagging and once you lift it, you're gonna notice the front end is gonna be way lower in the rear for sure. So just get new springs, your car needs them. Get the new spring isolators, the rubber pieces, because more than likely you need them as well. Stay away from the budget boost and just get the spring lift. So yeah, just save a month or two more and go with the springs because you're not gonna like the budget boost. You're not gonna be happy with it. The reason that I'm okay with the budget boost is because I had actually purchased some springs from an upcountry Jeep that only had like 30,000 miles, a little bit less than that. So mine actually lifted pretty nice and even but I doubt yours will because your springs probably have over 150,000 miles. Anyways, look at this beautiful view that we have here. All around, man. And we got some snow. This is the most snow we'll get in Southern California right here.
anyways thank you guys for watching another video i appreciate you guys taking the time let me know what you guys think about the budget boost down below in the comment section and also today is the last day to enter the giveaway so be sure to do that today's the last day sunday we will do a live stream on my instagram Najar off road and then afterwards i'll upload the video to youtube so you know be checking your emails because one of you will win all right see you guys in the next video peace